Well, hello. Well, here's one that'll stir up a little controversy, I think. <laughs> Should Charles stand aside for William? Well, look, the Queen is a very old lady, and she's shown recent signs of failing health. So the succession question is uh, now pretty much on the table. Some, some believe that the future of the monarchy rests with William, who is able and willing to make uh, needed changes. Others adamantly oppose this and support the traditional mechanisms of succession. So this is an issue that's going to intensify over the coming months and years. So look, it's worth examining it now, and, and I'm going to look at both sides of this question. First of all, let's take a look at the those who say, yes, he should, he should step aside. Well, I suppose uh, the real point here is that William and Kate represent youth and a fresh view after the greater part of a century of the old traditional ways. Uh, the world's changed a great deal during this time, and a fresh perspective and value system is needed, and that's really the nub of the argument. Uh, next, of course, as we all know, Charles and Camilla are simply not popular. The ghost of Diana continues to cloud their past, and for many, they've, they've not been forgiven. Uh, the crowning of Charles would be against the will of the majority of the British nation. And that's a pretty important point. This is, after all, a democracy. Uh, and Kate's success as both a mother and a potential queen has been, let's face it, nothing short of astounding. She's beautiful. She's charming. Uh, she never seems to cause any trouble. She always seems to do the right thing. She's just the ideal queen. Why, why should we wait? And, I'm afraid to say, a festering issue is the extravagant lifestyle of the royal family and the almost unimaginable luxury in which they live. And Charlie is deeply embedded in this way of operating, whereas Kate and William tend more to reflect a kind of middle-class set of values that come from her parents. Uh, and they tend to uh, look to them, I think, for guidance and uh, value system and example. The luxury lifestyle of Charles simply doesn't fit anymore, and it's engendering growing public resistance, particularly in the financial straits that we're in because of COVID. According to the polls, the majority of Britons want to change. Okay, well, what about those who say, no, they shouldn't? Look, they say, first of all, the rules are clear. The Charles is the Prince of Wales, he's the heir apparent, and he will simply get the job. He will be crowned. To skip over him simply isn't an option. It disrupts the entire structure of the monarchy to even contemplate it. And Charles has acknowledged that the monarchy has fundamental problems and challenges before it, and with his slimmed down monarchy mantra, he appears to have a plan to address it, so we should let him get on with it. And given his intensive dedication to environmental issues, global warming and its allied problems, he realizes it is, it is probably the number one challenge facing the earth right now. He has long championed this issue. He's been immersed in it. And accordingly, he's really the best man to, to confront it. So uh, let's not uh, skip over him. <laughs> okay, what's my take? Uh, well, my take is clear and pretty blunt. I support the idea of William immediately succeeding the queen when she dies. I, I reject the idea that such a change in succession is constitutionally impossible. That's just one put out by the courtiers. It is simply a matter of working out the details of Parliament and getting the appropriate legislation passed. And they, in Parliament, will do so if it is desired by the people in question. The problems of the monarchy, especially that of Andrew, are very much a function of the Queen and her advisors, the Ancien Regime, as we might call it. And they have been damaging its prospects in the eyes of some irretrievably for a long time. Emergency repairs are required, a system that nurtures Prince Andrew's self-indulgence as well as the extravagant luxury and spending of this family in general has run its course. It's time for change. William and Kate are the only ones that can provide it. So 
skip over Charles. <laughs> well, I hope you like that one. You probably might or might not. Uh, but if you did, uh, please do the usual subscribe, comment, like, notify, and all that. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.